sweaters probably are a little more forgiving than, you know, pants or a dress. Hey guys, welcome back to what I guess is becoming an eShakti review channel. So if you're not familiar with the company eShakti, they are a uh, clothing company that will totally customize uh, the pieces that you order, either you know to your size, your exact measurements. Um, you can also customize the different aspects like neckline, sleeve length, dress length, that sort of thing. Um, and you even can select different fabrics for some of them. Uh, uh, it'll let you swap out with the material of any other piece in that type of fabric, which is a very dangerous game to start playing. Uh, if you watched my previous video on winter dresses from Ishakti, you saw that I swapped out the fabrics on a couple. Um, but this video is going to be about sweaters. I had never ordered a sweater or knitwear from Ishakti before, and I was kind of just curious to try. There were a few that caught my eye, so I thought I would try them out. A couple of them customized, couple of them not, and um, you know I'm I'm very excited and pleased with how they turned out. So let me go ahead and show them to you. I did also want to first mention that if you haven't ordered from eShakti before and you're interested to try, um, please do check out the link in my description below because I do have a referral link that will give you some kind of discount off of your first order and it also gives me some kind of discount off future orders. So, um, you know, it'll help both of us out. So again, if you haven't tried it before, don't pay full price the first time. Go ahead and use that link down below. So this first piece that I have on currently is probably the most outside of my usual style. Uh, it is the linen cotton slouchy oversized sweater. And let me back up and show you the full look. So here's the full piece. As you can see, it's uh, it's real slouchy. I feel like it looks almost more like a poncho that just kind of happens to have like the tight sleeves at the end So you still have like use of your arms without worrying about things coming off. My husband said it looked like the Beatles uh, Help album cover. So maybe maybe it looks like that to you um, But this one I did not customize the style at all. So um, there was no option to change the material So this blue I actually um, I thought it was gonna be more of like a gray blue. I mean I guess it is but it's like a little bit brighter of a blue than I was necessarily expecting um, it did come with this kind of turtleneck cowl neck neckline and I did keep this because I thought it would just kind of go with the cozy vibes of the piece if I were to change one thing about this I probably would change the neckline to more of a boat neck I'll show you another piece coming up that has the boat neck and I think that would just be a little more versatile but we'll talk about that in a sec um, the sleeves I didn't change but you did have the option to make them a little um, shorter if you wanted but I think this is just like the standard long sleeve length and then the actual length of the piece you also had the option to change but I wanted something that I could wear like with leggings and so this is the perfect length for that in my opinion. So like I mentioned if I were to change one thing it would probably be the neckline just because this is like a little warm the whole piece overall although it's like a pretty light material it's very warm uh, and so I feel like this is just like a little bit much I already have chosen not to wear this on a couple occasions because I knew it was going to feel like too warm. So if it had a little bit more of an open neckline, I probably would be more likely to wear it in different times. That said, you know, when I placed the order, I was kind of going for like a cozy, snuggly looking thing. And this is like so big and loose. It basically is like wearing a big blanket that just has like wrists. So, um, so, you know, I'm not mad at this, but if I were, you know, to order it again, or like if it were available in a different color and I ordered another one, I probably would go with a different neckline on this. But overall, I really like it. I've actually worn it uh, a couple of times now. Um, it's, it's like a little something interesting and different, but it's warm and unique and comfortable and I really like it. So let me know what you think about this one. Okay, now this next piece, I will admit, first caught my eye because I love the color. Um, but that said, I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. So this is the Dolman Sleeve Cotton Modal Sweater. And I did make a few customizations, so let me back up and show you. 
So I will put on screen uh, what the original style looked like. Uh, I changed mine, um, the neckline, I changed to the boat neck, which I am a big fan of. I think it's very flattering. It's not, um, you know, it's not anything that's like cut deep like a v-neck that would get chilly. Um, it's, you know, it is like a little bit higher style, but it's kind of wide and I think it's very flattering on me. Uh, like I said, if I were to reorder that first sweater, I would probably choose this neck style, which was an option on that. Um, the sleeve length I kept as it was, so it's like the perfect long sleeve length for me, reaches my wrist perfectly. And then the actual sweater length, um, the original one was more of like a hip or maybe even just slightly above the hip length, and I changed it to what they call low hip length, again with the intent that I wanted to wear it with like leggings and you know cover the whole butt area. So uh, in the title of the piece, they do call it a dolman style sleeve. I don't know if I would exactly call it that. My understanding is a dolman sleeve is kind of like a, a wider connection at the armpit area. Like this part would be longer and kind of connect down lower. It is sort of just a big square boxy sweater again that sort of hangs loose. But I feel like the sleeves themselves are pretty much like a, just a standard sized long sleeve so i think that's actually it's pretty flattering um and again you know it's nice and loose and like a good contrast with leggings or a, a tighter pant um the length came out great i think it hits at just the right spot for wearing with um, leggings and things it is again kind of a lighter weight material um, it feels similar in weight to the previous sweater, so I don't know if it's just the difference of neckline, but it doesn't feel as super warm as the other one. I guess the other one also was like a lot more material, but I don't know, this is also pretty like big and, and loose, so I don't know, but it's a, you know, it's a little bit more comfortable if you're worried about like getting overheated in a situation. So um, again, I'm really happy with this one. This was actually the first one that I tried on when I received this package and I had been kind of nervous about it because I didn't know if it would be, you know, flattering looking and I really liked the way that this one turned out. All right, here is my third and final piece. And actually, I know I said this with the first one that it was sort of unique to like the usual pieces that I have, but actually this one might be a little bit more unique. I don't know, you be the judge. So this one is the super fine merino wool circle cardigan. And I did make some customizations. Let me back up and show you the full view. So this is a light heather gray, really um, soft, lightweight circle cardigan, as the name suggested. If you like took this off, you would see the actual body really is a circle with just like two armholes coming out of it. Um, I have never had a sweater exactly this shape. I've had like cocoon sweaters in the past, but this one like really is a circle. So it sort of hangs in like a a little bit different way um, but it's like a very casual slouchy kind of feeling I really like the vibe of this sweater um, you know you could again it's something you could really dress up or down depending on what you pair it with obviously I just have you know black leggings and a black top but you could wear something like very fancy with it um, I don't know about wearing it over like a dress maybe like a, a mini skirt or like a very short pencil skirt or something but I think it's just so cool and just like very relaxed feeling um, so I really like the fit on this one. Um, I did make one customization. So um, I didn't change the neckline. There's nothing you can do with that. The sleeves, I'm not sure if you had the option to change the sleeve length, but I didn't mess with that. What I did change was the length of the piece. So the options that they gave for the actual like bottom length were the same as they would give for a skirt, like, you know, like knee length, whatever, whatever. And this is actually supposed to be a little bit longer than this but I changed it to what they're calling the mini length. So this would be, I guess, the length of where a mini skirt would hit me. Um, but I feel like, you know, it's still, it covers the butt, obviously, but um, it doesn't like envelop me. And especially with it being a circle, I guess that, you know, if I had chosen a longer length, the like top part would have more fabric also because it's a circle. So I, I think this was the right length choice for me. I feel like it's nice and loose and light without being like overwhelming. So let me know what you think of this one, but I think it's 
really cool, a little different. Um, it would be great uh, as like a transitional thing also because it is a very light material and the sleeves, you know, you can push them up a little bit. Um, so you're not gonna get overheated in this. It gives you some options and flexibility. Um, but I think this is really cool. So let me know what you thought of those. Again, this is my first time trying sweaters or knitwear from eShakti, so I'm really pleased with how they turned out. I was, again, kind of worried that they would be sort of unflattering, um, but they turned out great. I don't think I mentioned uh, in the beginning, but with this order, just like my previous couple, I didn't provide like full custom measurements. I just ordered my size off their standard size chart, so I think it worked out great. Also, sweaters probably are a little more forgiving than, you know, pants or a dress necessarily, so um, I've had great luck so far with just ordering according to my size on their size chart, but especially if you are, you know, like non-standard dimensions or proportions, Eshakti is so great for getting things that really are custom fit to you. Um, these sweaters, I was shocked with how quickly they came, maybe because there was just less customization than there would have been for a dress, but um, they came a lot faster than my previous couple orders, so I was really pleased with um, the speed that I got these. So as always, leave me a comment, let me know which ones were your favorite, um, how, what would you have styled differently or customized differently. If you are shopping eShakti for the first time, please do take a look at that referral link I'll put down in the description. Uh, don't pay full price for your first order if you are just trying them out, but um, like I said, I've been so pleasantly surprised and pleased with all of my eShakti experiences going back years now, so um, I definitely highly recommend them. Um, they also do like remakes if something comes out wrong or weird. I think, you know, the first time at least you can get something made over. Uh, so they're very flexible and very easy to work with. So thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and maybe you want to see more eShakti reviews. I'm not sure. I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff and reviewed it, so i uh, not sure when that might take place, but maybe I'll get some spring pieces. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!